I'll move that amendment or are you happy to accept that? I'm happy to accept that. So, so those in favour? That's carried. Thank you very much, councillors. Um, now, 6.1, outstanding matters from previous meetings. Sorry, Madam Mayor. Um, I've done that, sorry. Don't worry about that. Seven. Seven. The Mayor of Seven, uh, seven was by the Mayor of Report. Um, if you're moving it, I'll second it. Okay, I'll leave it so it's secret. Thank you, Councillor Callister. Are there any questions? There's been a lot of meetings through there, a lot of them to do with water, um, some to do with the air capital on the other side of the river, and uh, it's been quite a busy month. So, those in favour? That's carried. Um, eight, there's no, there's no reports from committees, but they are nil. Reports to Council, 9.1 is the General Manager's report. I'll move, move it with a question. Councillor McCallister with a question. Second, please. Councillor Dunan. I'm looking, I'm not sure, Councillor McKinnon, whether you're here or not. We've heard a bit of squawking. Uh, so he's dropped out. He's dropped out, okay. Uh, the question, Councillor McCallister. Uh, on page 63, Madam Mayor, just in relation to the um, uh, council preparations for the elections. Um, I've, I've just reviewed the, the key points, and it talks about um, the, the top dot point underneath the heading key points. Councils need to ensure that everyone eligible to vote at the upcoming local government elections has the opportunity to do so. Is it possible, I, I note that there's restrictions 40 days out, but is it possible for council to advertise that council can offer support for people who need it in terms of registering to vote or uh, with, with the voting themselves? Uh, from, from the learnings in, in recent times, council and council have suggested that um, yeah, it's a, the electoral commission's role to, to really facilitate that type of thing. I mean, we're out currently doing the, the uh, candidate information sessions. Um, we're, we're, we're approaching in a fashion to engage with as many people as, as we can be. Your last point, helping people to vote, which is what you said. Yeah. On election day or pre poll voting or? Well, <coughs> understanding the process. So I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to understand the, the point of, I, I suppose, the, the onus being on council, needing to ensure that everyone eligible to vote has the opportunity to do so. So council's preparing the, the election role, as I understand. That's our job. Just a non just a non-residential role. The actual the main roles maintained by the electoral commission. Right. Yeah. Okay. Not very clear really, is it? Yeah. I, I think what uh, what happens is those who have property outside the inside the, the area that uh, live outside the area come over and they they have to make sure that they put onto the onto that well. Okay, so the third key point is that customer services staff must be made aware of this issue in order to assist any person to make a claim for inclusion yeah. of the roles. Yeah. So so council does have a role in that. Yeah, so they yeah. so no yeah, so anyone who wants to be um, included on the non residential role has to speak to council and get a copy of the application form. Oh, right. They fill in the application form and then the general manager then reviews it and determines whether they meet the criteria to be accepted onto the, the role. And then once that's all done, we then go into the electoral commission website and then actually add them to the non-residential role from there. Okay. Yeah, the numbers are the There was 16 or 17. 14, 14 or 16. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah, so those people who own property in the Shire that live outside. So I walk for those people who are renting a property and wish to be included in the, on the roll. So does council get reimbursed for staff time? What, what I'm hearing there is that's at least an hour's worth of work for someone, and potentially yeah. more in, with all the anything that happens during a normal day-to-day operational um, customer service. 
information sharing or whatever else is, is, is at this respect of Yale. And I won't be out until 8 o'clock in the last two nights. And again, if you forget the night, there's no reimbursement around. So, yeah. that would be a little bit. Thank you for your work. Yeah, no, that's answered my question. Thank you. Does anybody else have any questions of the general areas of the floor? If not, it's been moved in the second. Yes, it's great to be here. Yes, Councillor Williams. I honestly believe that both the voting is the way we should go, and when do we make preparations for the next? Council elections, then we were told too late that we had an option at this council election. We were told and it was too late. Yeah, we, we made application for postal voting for, for this current election and they, and they adhered to it at 18 month time frame out from that election. So I guess the 2024 election, we've got to make application in outside that 18 month time frame before the 2024 election. To give I mean, <laughs> I doubt if I'll be involved in them, but I, I mean, we, the cop uh, getting the electoral commission to do it is just too great. You know, it's so many dollars per vote that we are getting slugged, it's eight or ten dollars a, a vote. Yeah, the, the only one thing that was a very late last minute is if COVID basically shut down. I don't think that they'll defer the election in this case. No, they'll, they'll probably go to a high vote or something like that. Which will confuse people that know nothing about it. Yeah, we'll be down to the Kenneth. Hey! Hey! There you are. <laughs> well done. See, we're, we're discussing uh, 9.1, the general manager's report. Yes, sir. Get that also. Yes, McKinnon. Here's uh, you yeah. turned on, mate. <laughs> so I'll be the same You can hear us. Yes, okay. you can hear us. Is there any further? Nothing further. It's been moved and seconded. Those in favour. At 9.2, um, page 69, resources for reasons funding round 8. Thank you, Councillor. Second that with a question, Madam Mayor. Councillor McAllister, question. My question on page 70, Madam Mayor, uh, under the emboldened part, Great Murray Junk. Darling Junction Reserve Pathway Commencement. I note that it says commencement of a pathway from the soon to be replaced Junction Island Bridge. That's exciting news. Have I missed something? Uh, so we will seem to be replaced. Yeah, we'll put successful in what the urban community infrastructure previous grants for three hundred thousand dollars and contribution to that bridge construction. So um, um, sorry. Communication, um, yeah, it was publicised for all the other people. I might have missed something. Yeah, various designs came in of different different places on the stairs. So we're not using the big yabby for that purpose? No. <laughs> 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 all right. Um, I'll move to Alright. Alright. Thanks, Councillor McKinnon. Well, just my Councillor McKinnon, the, we think you're on mute, but we might just try and unmute yourself, your sir, your drawing. Yeah, you can hear me now. Yeah. <laughs> Good to see you. Welcome. Yeah. Like we say to Councillor McKinnon, he's coming from the hospital. <laughs> so. yeah. I'll just excuse me, Madam Mayor, at 12.1, I've got a conflict of interest in the closed section. Okay, 9.3, 7th of a regional panel of conduct reviewers. There's a 
issues arising. Councillors have been furnished with some background paperwork. There was also a, a um, couple of uh, media articles, including this one from the ABC, which had a startling heading. This was from the 3rd of June, I think. Uh, sorry, 4th of December. Just double check. Uh, sorry, 3rd of February, this one was. 
The heading is New South Wales Irrigators Council calls for honest conversation as its research shows inflows to river systems have halved. One of the subheadings says Murray Darling Association on board with irrigators. So I, I do note that when we first tried to um, to join up with the Murray Darling Association, it, it was felt sorry. Should I be rabbiting on? Did it get seconded? Yeah, but that's just here. Can I thank you? So, um, so the the thinking at the time was that we should use every um, device at our disposal to advocate for the rivers. Um, it's become very clear that there is a, a um, in in these papers which have been submitted, you'll see that um, there, there was a Guardian article of the 4th of December, which I don't think has been printed, but it did suggest that um, the Murray-Darling Association has been uh, one of those groups that's been having uh, secret court <coughs> meetings with the Water Minister. Um, in the email trial which um, the department unwittingly set out, uh, with the entire email trail attached to it, which I think might have prompted that article. Um, it does include the Murray-Darling Association alongside Local Government New South Wales, the Mineral, Minerals and Energy Resources Council and uh, New South Wales Irrigators Council um, as, and New South Wales Farmers as those groups that have been having secret fortnightly meetings. That information was further ratified through supplementary responses, sorry, Responses to supplementary questions on notice in March, when um, the director of uh, DPI was asked directly um, which agencies have been having secret fortnightly meetings with the minister and confirmed that the Murray Darling Association was one of those. Um, more recently, there was a, um, a motion um, contained within an agenda to the board which uh, came from um, one of the northern councils in the, in the northern basin. Um, also within that, uh, that uh, agenda, there was a letter that had already been sent off to the Federal Water Minister, Keith Pitt, um, urging uh, that, that he act in accordance with the motion uh, or the, the information that was being supplied to the board. So the letter had gone off to the minister before the board had had an opportunity to discuss it. It related to a, um, a, a bit of a furphy around an over-allocation of environmental water in the Macquarie marshes. Um, and uh, in response, I provided a briefing paper to the contrary, which included the fact that uh, any reduction of held environmental water is illegal under the Basin Plan, as well as other significant issues. The, um, the motion that both reports be received and noted was subsequently amended to remove the reference to um, the contrary briefing that I had submitted and the response to uh, my question about whether that the minutes had been a, a amended to properly reflect the motion that was carried unanimously um, uh, was unresponded before the minutes went out. Now that's just one, uh, one issue. There have been several others. Um, and the reason I bring it to council, Madam Mayor, is not to bore you all to tears, but because uh, there, there have been rumblings of issues within the Murray-Darling Association as Chair of Region 4. I have a duty to refer to report back to this council. The council is the chair, not me myself. I'm just a delegate from this council. So I owe you all a duty to understand um, the issues. I take my directorship role very seriously, Madam Mayor, and if uh, there are significant governance issues which compromise my ability to sit on other committees, then I must withdraw, which I have done so far but I would like Council to consider whether um, the membership fees, the fees for having the conference, the fees for attending strategic planning meetings uh, and, and other costs of membership of the Murray-Darling Association, whether this Council is actually getting bang for its buck. I'm happy to take questions.
I just think it'd be a bit premature. We've got a new council coming on in a couple of months, and uh, they may choose to say that you know they want to remain a member of it. Uh, water being what it's been for this last few years, uh, if we haven't got a voice, uh, it 
Might not do this for your counsel. Thank you, Councillor Nunn. Can we have an amendment on a notice of motion? Councillor Nunn, motion motion. So, is there an amendment or is there a... An amendment. It may be held open to be reviewed by the new council. 23 months away. The motion is that... You review it. You're on the table. You review it. I'll call the motion. You review it. I'll call the motion. 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 And then the, the review be conducted by the incoming council. Well, um, if, if, if I may address everything that's been said, can I do that? Um, yes, you can come inside my bed. So, in, in yes. terms of. Before, before you do, I'll just, I'll just make it if I can. Yes, um, I haven't done, done anything yet. Um, I think, uh, along the lines again, that the. Um, the conference up here has been declared fairly widely. It was probably one of the better conferences held. They went back more to the um, seeing the area and the region, uh, from the things that we've had and things we haven't had. They know more about the, particularly the Darling uh, River side of it uh, at, at this stage, and uh, um, I would have to um, vote against you in that estimation. Having said that, there's no further comment. As a mover, I'll let you um, close the discussion and that Thank you, Madam Mayor. Um, the, the conference was three years' work. Let's, let's not, you know, kid ourselves that all of a sudden it happened. Uh, the, the meetings have been monthly uh, as board meetings, plus four quarterly region meetings, plus strategic uh, advisory uh, meetings, most of which have been face-to-face, -face. plus as uh, issues have arisen, substantial lobbying in order to get um, some sort of uh, media release or letter written uh, from um, it, in terms of informing the agenda, etc., etc. It, it is a hell of a lot of work that has been increasing. Um, it's been increasing not only for myself as the delegate, but also for our secretariat. Um, the increase in uh, workload on the member councils is such that uh, one other region has actually employed an executive officer to take care of the secretariat duties, such as the, is the workload attached to it. Um, the conference, I agree, has, has been uh, hailed a success and the whole point really of the last three years worth of work was to get people to come out here. A lot of them were reluctant uh, to do that and the fact that they have been and seen it, I, I really don't know what else we have to offer in the space, particularly considering that, um, that the focus has shifted to the Northern Basin uh, for some time, including um, doing the, the department's work um, in justifying what, uh, what we know as being illegal floodplain harvesting policy. Um, the, uh, in terms of the other partners of Region 4, um, there have been some discussions. The meeting, the annual general meeting that was due to occur has been postponed until after the new council is, is brought in. Um, we weren't the only uh, region to do that. There was another New South Wales uh, region as well who, who postponed their uh, AGM. Um, none of the other uh, partners, as you say, um, had nominated for the role of chair. Um, I think also this, this council needs to consider in the last 12 months the, not only the, the burden uh, in terms of workload, the burden in terms of cost, but in the last year, for example, uh, we have, despite lobbying very early for a change in um, date of the previous AGM, uh, this council was effectively excluded from attending uh, that meeting because of a clash with um, meetings. We're also written a, a letter um, requiring an explanation in relation to Coon Kerry Weir rather than a letter offering assistance as one of the members 
um, it's it's been uh, very difficult to get. Um, Councillor Elstone would probably reflect back on uh, drafting motions and, and that motions had been reworded and other points added um, ahead of trying to, to get motions put in. Um, two years ago, Councillor Evans and Councillor Hayward were with me in Toowoomba when the, um, the annual general meeting of the Murray-Darling Association delegates carried our motion for Ramsar listing for Menindee Lakes. Now, no action has been taken on that motion in the two years hence. And then Central Darwinshire was asked to submit that motion once again to the most recent conference. Um, and I, I just want to really emphasise the point that there has been uh, far too much work for not enough um, uh, return, I guess, and the point of reviewing our membership and pulling out may well prompt the board to make some decisions and then when the, when the new council uh, is inducted, they will have the opportunity as they do to nominate delegates and make decisions about which associations that they, uh, they choose to be part of. Um, and I think I've finished. Yeah. Yeah. So, sorry, the last piece will be, I, I will have nothing further to do with the Murray-Darling Association because of the, the cost to myself and the fact that I no longer have the amount of time that is required. So, this council will need to nominate another replacement if they decide to continue. Yeah, the, the, the only comment... Uh, Councillor McAllister that I would make was that I think at the last time that the, the position came up um, and you were the chair and I, I congratulate you on the work you've done, I questioned why it wasn't being rotated. Uh, it's always been a position that was rotated. I was chair of Region 4 some years ago and it used to rotate amongst the councils on a fairly regular basis and what seems to have happened in the last few years is that it goes to one council and doesn't move. That, I believe, causes a cost to that particular council. Um, and if it's, if it's rotated around, then some other council takes on the cost. So um, there are, there used to be three councils in the, in the area now two. However, I cannot see why the other council um, doesn't take a share of the time so there are five councils. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two of them under administration, and the other the other two councils had no interest in taking over the, the chairship. Yeah. All right. Um, now there was a proposal for an amendment. To be held over, yeah, just the um, um, motion of the review of the new council. council. That 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 will happen, Madam Mayor, but I'm not going to. Uh, is anybody prepared to second the amendment? Yeah. Well, I'll change my mind and I'll second the amendment. Well, Councillor McAllister, in the letter, that's part of, part of due process for, for the new council. They will view every committee every internal and external and the membership and delegates associated. Draw my Withdraw my amendment. Well, then we'll move back to the motion. If you withdraw your amendment, does the secondary agree to the Okay, well then we'll go back to the motion. Um, <coughs> and the vote is a motion back up on the board. Okay. Um, those who are so to be very clear, the, the motion is that council withdraw its membership. That's right. No, the motion is that we reveal its membership, not that we withdraw it. Motion to refuse its membership. Council did that withdraw it. That's why I said let the new council work over there and withdraw it again, right? And that I withdraw as delegate. Yeah. I call it one of the amends. Councillor McCarthy is the word withdrawal membership. That's not the motion, mate, it's to withdraw. I think it's still that way. Yeah. Well, if you use the word withdraw, I didn't review. Yeah, well, it does say the motion that it's review of membership to Murray Darling Association. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you.
be no action out of that motion. It's the point of that agenda manager will be reviewed in September anyway.
Take, take, take it on notice for the yeah, community facility to benefit all, all the same areas within the community. So I'm sure we work out um, some agreement in, in terms of maybe the redefining of the boundary or, or something of that nature. So I'll, I'll have a look at the, the boundary and, and get, it, get it mapped and see if we can mediate a, a suitable outcome for all. I think it's only going to be come an issue if there's problems in the playground for the caravan park or vice versa. Councillor yeah. McKenna, do you have any questions with notice? No. Thank you. Councillor Wilton? Yeah. No. Councillor McAllister? Nothing from me, thank you. Councillor Elstone? Yeah, just um, how I've broken the record of the District 3rd Councillors to, you know, I've had some of the 23rd of June, it's had enough planned home, like was going to go well. Great story, great success. Another 38 lots out of 70 being sold very recently. Um, I've said it numerous times before, the infrastructure up there, I think we've got to get a fair bit more urgency into what we're doing to make sure that we don't get picked on the butt. And I, and I agree with you, Councillor Elstone, but also raise the point that. There's money in the uh, water account for another house that people might put in. Exactly. 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 We were told some time ago the public works were yeah. doing some kind of engineering design, but yeah. apparently that that is a lot further off than what we thought. So yeah. it's both raw and filter water. Yeah, filter water is okay. Yeah. Filter water is yeah. the, 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 the raw water. Yeah, yeah. 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 on the development on the development. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
they have a problem at the moment, like we'll see the Great War is ultimately between the Congress and furthermore ahead, but I'm sure that it's, it's moving forward now. So uh, public works advisory is undertaking that work on, on behalf of the council. I think that'll that'll deliver outcomes for needs for improvement of infrastructure, whether it's towers, whether it's larger pumps, whether it's yeah, we've got a time frame on it, but what that thing going? I'd like to know what the pressure is out of my front tap. This itself. This is what I'm about this whole <laughs> <laughs> and we'll move on to Liam. Are there any more questions with notice? If not, I'll ask. Councillor Moon, and to take us into the context of business, please. Yes, we'll do. Sorry, Moon, we'll do. I'm the uh, white page on page 229, mm -hmm. under 4.1. Mm -hmm. Part of this claim is missing of the first one. The sentence is because. Let's do that disclaimer there because uh, we're dealing with blah, 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 public interest, et cetera, value for money. There's a whole two or three lines missing that mm -hmm. make up the. Um, 229, sorry, Page 229 under 12.1, we're on the length of this now. Yes. Sentence ends in the cons. There's, there's a line left off there explaining why. Which I think really Where's the confidence matters? Which one? Where's the confidence matters? Prevent council from achieving value for money objectives. Right. Uh, Madam Mayor, I'll move the council adjourned into the voting session. The report will be released. Uh, Members of the press and public will be excluded. And any access to correspondence reports relating to the items considered to be forced in the closed session be withheld. This is still classified by a separate resolution. So I session of council, council deliberated over item 12.1 being the wrong of the landfill discount rate where it was resolved that council approved the addition of Jura waste and the site into the list of approved contractors for the current discount rate applicable to other contractors. In relation to 12.2, the supply of DGB plus one Grade based material, it was resolved that council in accordance with the provisions of the local government general regulation accepts a tender from Mallee Quarries to provide to limited carry out and supply the delivery of grade based material for the amount of $856,460, including GSC, and authorised the mayor and general manager to sign the documentation that's the seal of that contract. In relation to 12.3, the suppliers select fill material. Same segment of road. The resolution of council is that council in accordance with the provision of the local government general regulation section 120, 178.1a accepts the tender from Bar Earth Moving Proprietary Limited trading as Miller or Quarries to carry out and supply the delivery of select fill material for the amount of $190,228.56, including GST, and further authorise the mayor and the general manager to sign the contract document. Notion of fix the seal that concluded the business in closed council. Thank you, Mr. General Manager. Um, having said that, um, I'll now close, formally close the council meeting and thank Councillor McKinnon for attending uh, the difficult circumstances uh, and thank the gallery for their attending here and may you have a safe journey home. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. Well, yeah, I'm going to say the